Frame averaging can be used to give a long exposure effect in broad daylight and without the use of filters. You can access this on the IQ4 by swiping the side menu and selecting the frame averaging tool. In here we can set our camera settings for a single exposure, and then we can choose how long we want our exposure to run for. This will then give us the corresponding amount of frames and how long the back will take to capture this. When you are ready, you can push the capture button. The back will then take as many frames as you've selected and combine them into a single image. Afterwards, we can see that we get a single image with this long exposure effect. If we zoom in here, we can see the difference between a single frame and a frame average image. Frame averaging also really helps when recovering shadows in our images. Again, we can see the frame average image on the left this time, and you can see that there is a lot less noise after lifting the shadows at four stops. Finally, you need to be aware if your shot has a gap or is gapless. You can see this on the digital back here. This refers to whether there's a small pause between the sensor reading out. Usually anything faster than one quarter of a second will have a gap in. This means that if you only take a few exposures, you might see ghosting in your images as we can see here. This can be resolved with a longer shutter speed or having many more frames to average out here.